Hey, so women Stop shooting a shot. I wanna I wanna play this video real quick and then I wanna get y'all thoughts on it. So last night I was texting the guy that I'm talking to and he was like, oh, this is so annoying. I'm packing. I hate packing. I have my flight in the morning. And I'm like, do you want me to FaceTime you to like keep you company? And he was like, yeah, like that'd be amazing. So I FaceTime him and he's packing and I'm trying to make the experience a little bit more fun for him. So he has a good time. and He doesn't like dread packing and he just looked so cute. And I was just like blurted out out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, you look so cute. I just want to kiss you right now. And he just looks at me and I'm like, why the fuck did I just say that? How did that slip out of my mouth? Like, that's so embarrassing. And he's like, really, you want to kiss me? And I'm like, yeah, like, fuck it. And then I'm like, you know what? Why am I embarrassed? Like, I'm confident. Yes, I know you're trying to be gentle with me because you don't know where I'm at. And you know, I've been through a lot, but I want to let you know that I'm ready. I'm ready to take this next step. And I just think it's, it's a really sexy thing for guys to see like a girl like taking initiative. I feel like all the time we wait for a guy to kind of like just take initiative and like lead us. But like, why are we letting them lead us? I want to lead you. I want you to understand where I'm at. I want to be at my pace, you know? And I think it's hot. And he was like, that was hot. I was like, okay. He's like, all right, next time I see you, I'm kissing you. I was like, okay. So it was just a big step in my little journey. And I um, just wanted to share that. She has on a wedding ring. What the fuck is she talking about? I don't think that that's a wedding ring. You know how a lot of times where uh, when you're recording on the camera, it actually shows the opposite side. It's oh, yeah, she got on her mirror. She got on her mirror. Yeah, the, the, yeah the, she, the she mirrored her camera. Video. Yeah, the actual yeah. video is mirror or is flipped. So I don't I don't think that's a wedding ring at all. Most people don't know that most people don't know to turn the mirror off. Like it, it comes yeah. like that. And they don't yeah. they don't they don't know to turn the mirror off. So, and most people don't understand. Yeah, there is a mirror. So my question yeah. is, should more women shoot their shot? Yes. I think if women shoot their shot, there's no gray area, I feel like. I think when men shoot, there's a, like a gray area. Like, does he like me? Does she, is she reciprocating? Am I pulling teeth? But when a woman shoots her shot, there's, there's no gray. It's like, look, this is what it is. Nigga, come get this pussy type shit. <laughs> yeah, but I think that women will misunderstand if a guy don't immediately jump at it, because I think that most women are used to men just being, you know, just willingly jumping at it and stuff like that. I think that the caveat to that is that if a guy doesn't jump at it, then a woman is going to be feeling like, you know, something is wrong or whatever, when in reality is nothing it may be ne nothing necessarily wrong it may be more or less the fact that circumstantial or whatever like that and so i think that women are less are are more likely to take stuff wrong if it doesn't go exactly how they pictured it in their mind my, my best friend they've been married for 10 years and his wife shot her shot at him in college i think shooting a shot shooting your shot is phenomenal for women Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told, he tells that story. I was like, how but did he do tell call, that story all day call. long? She was like, he she came after me. I was like, dang nigga. <laughs> I you know? agree with her 100 percent in this video. What was you saying, Mika? What do y'all call shooting your shot for a woman? Actually, shooting your shot. Okay, thing. so I'll give you an example, right? When I went up to the bar, because I actually had went up to the rooftop for a second today. Uh, but when I went up to the bar, so what I didn't realize is that they had a completely different menu upstairs on the rooftop than they had on the first floor uh, of the spot, right? And so um, I wind up going downstairs. You can order food downstairs and have it sent upstairs, even though they got a completely different menu. So I asked mm -hmm. the girls for the menu, it was a, or I asked the bartender for the menu, and the girl was like, hey, here, just take mine or whatever. And I was like, all right. And she was like, but make sure you come back and make sure you bring it back to me, all right? And I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. So I went upstairs, you know what I'm saying? And I came back downstairs. And then when I put the menu down, she put her hand on my hand and she was like, you know, what's going on? Don't be trying to run away or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And so her earthy friend was kind of hating, like, girl, don't ask him, don't ask him what he what he do for a living and all of this stuff. And so it kind of became a fucking thing. But my point that I'm making is that the actual girl was shooting her shot. Now, I didn't amount mm -hmm. to nothing because I wasn't, you know, checking for him or nothing. So I just kept it G and I just kept it cordial. But the girl was literally shooting her shot. And, mm. it, and, I, mean, and, I, and I think that that's dope. I mean, I think you have, as a woman, you can do, like, subtle things. I don't think 
like shooting your shot the way men do it is effective because you just come off as aggressive and maybe he might he might or he might not but i think you can i think you can do like little subtle things that let men know that you want them yeah i think that that works too um but i also think that y'all need to shoot y'all shot more amiga definitely I don't, I like I just I, don't I, get up. I need to, I don't need bend to the knee. Be direct. So like, yo, I'm feeling you. What's going on? Like a man would. Like what's happening? Well, yeah, just don't don't bend the knee. Like Amika ain't think, feeling that I shit. I don't think. I don't think no because I don't. I don't Amika like, ain't going. No, I, I don't like women being that. Amika masculine. ain't going. So so you feel you feel like women should should. It's, do you feel like it's it's masculine for a woman to do that? Because listen, Mika ain't used to having a a shooter. Mika ain't well. used to having a shooter shot. I'll be thinking to myself if I go to the restroom and she with me, like, okay, which motherfucker is gonna try to slide? Okay. <laughs> Who trying to slide? Shoot. They gonna shoot. Oh. So Mika is no. not used to it. Mika, Mika is not used to having to shoot her shot. So she's a little bit different. But but I think it would be different if she ran into the guy that she wanted. But then, or like if hypothetically speaking, let's say that she was out and about and it was a guy that was dope or whatever that she was feeling. But then at the same time, you know, it didn't it didn't necessarily translate as far as like he didn't, he wasn't aggressive enough or he didn't approach her. I think that Mika would be like, what? What's going on? What's wrong with you? You want to do that, Mika? <laughs> <laughs> Why you going on mute? <laughs> <laughs> Say, I was sip my tea. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't saying nothing. Hey, I feel you. No. <laughs> yeah. <It's hard. laughs> well, if you, if you could, if you could, if you, if, you, if Mika confront on me and say that I was playing Nicki Minaj and oh my, my god, and oh my, yeah, and, and the pink and the pink ambiance, the pink ambiance, yeah, oh my goodness, you know, I told the barbs to stand down. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught a little bit. I caught a little bit of the morning show, and he was like, "Oh my God, y'all still listening to Mika?" I was like, "Okay." <laughs> they love hey, the secret Barb. Real hey, strong team. Captain Two. Hey, I was uh, I was uh, I we, I, we was walking, and I ran into the mayor. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I ran to the mayor, and so we, you know, we gave Dap or whatever, and we was like, "What's going on, whatever?" And he looks at Mika, and he said, "He said, woo." He said, "Woo." Am I lying? You're not lying. I just was like, mm. "He said, woo." He said, "Who was that?" <laughs> and then they like, they talk, talking, 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 and I'm just turning the thing. And he he's talking to Anton. He's like. Like, he oh, said, who? He said, who is that? I said, oh, that's my girl, Mika. He said, hey, how you doing, young lady? <laughs> <laughs> young lady. <laughs> how old is, oh, how old is he? Oh, he older. I, yeah, no. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, he, he, a yeah, he a lot older. Yeah, he a lot older. Tommy player. How you doing there? I said I got to keep her with me so that I could uh I could I could I could I could, I could you know you leverage her and she get all of the little attention and I just go ahead and capitalize off that shit so and so everybody in the day going casino knew who you was what you talking about that's irrelevant and <laughs> <laughs> all the fans I was like what everybody nah 